in breath test cases, law enforcement has some discretion as to whether or not to call it a refusal, even where an attempt was made to provide a breath sample. So the critical component is going to be what does that breath test video demonstrate in terms of the effort that's made, in terms of the instruction that's given, and in terms of the opportunities afforded you to actually provide a compliant sample. So in a situation where someone is making an earnest effort to blow into the breath test machine and for some reason it's not appropriately registering that, you'll have a very good chance of challenging the suspension in front of a judge. However, if it looks like there's some gamesmanship going on or you're trying to do something deliberately to thwart the machine's ability to capture your breath test, then obviously you know, all bets are off there and it very well could be sustained as a, as a uh, refusal. So it really depends on the circumstances of your, of your case.